Hey internet, so I got some bad news this morning, which I will talk about in an unlisted video if you're interested. And it's also really rainy today, and I have homework to do, so I decided to record my obsessions video for September instead. If you've had any doubts that I am a responsible adult, this is your proof. So there are two TV shows that I've watched this month, and they're actually a little bit out of my realm of normal genres of TV watching, but they both kind of create this world that takes you away and makes you completely escape from the world that you're currently in. The first TV show, which you've probably heard of, is called Mr. Robot. It stars Rami Malek, and he is so incredibly talented. He plays a man who is a proficient computer hacker, but also is dealing with drug addiction and mental illness. And it's just this crazy TV show that starts off kind of pretty normal and easy to follow, and then gets like way more complicated, which I guess most TV shows do, but it's just absolutely fascinating. The second TV show that I watched is on Netflix and it's called The Get Down. I heard of this show because I believe Hank Green was tweeting about it, but it is a show based in the 1970s, the late 1970s in the Bronx of New York City. It's actually kind of a mythical representation of the beginning of hip hop and DJing. It's directed by Baz Luhrmann, who directed my absolute favorite movie, Moulin Rouge, and you can totally tell. It's another super fantastical production where almost at times it's a little frenetic, but it's got a lot of music in it, which I really love, and it's just a really fascinating story. It was something that, like I said, is out of my normal genre, but I really enjoyed it. In the next category of obsessions, we'll have music. So Dodie Clark released this great new song called Would You Be So Kind on her channel this month, and I absolutely love it. I have never secretly been a fan of Dodie Clark. I've loved what she's been doing for a long time and she's been in my obsessions before, but I in particular really liked this song that she put out this month, so I will leave a link if you would like to go watch it. Continuing along in the same vein, Tessa Violet released a single called Dream this month and she released the video to go along with it and oh my gosh, it's probably one of my favorite music videos of all time. It's done very dreamlike, so it's all surrealist and just kind of the aesthetic that I love. There's a particular shot where it's a shot of her overlaid with another shot and I just, just really enjoy it. So like Dodie's song, I will also put a link to Tessa's music video. Please, please, please go watch it. Tessa's also releasing an EP next month and I am super pumped about it. So yeah, keep your eyes out for her. If you follow me on Twitter, this is not gonna be a surprise, but particularly at the end of this month, I have been obsessed with sweaters and this particular sweater in general. I am very much a summer person. I love the beach and I love the warm and the sun. I always dread the winter a little bit because being inside and it being dark and it being cold Hold on. That's a little hard. I mean, I feel like I could get used to it. So anyway, I had forgotten how much I love big sweaters that you can just be super comfy in and I enjoy them so much. So this sweater and big sweaters in general, really obsessed with this month and can't wait to wear more of them. And my last obsession this month kind of needs a little bit of context. So I'm gonna give you my life update now while I'm telling you about it. So it's fall, school is back in session. I'm getting my degree to be a teacher. So part of my master's degree program requires me to do student teaching, but the actual official part of that wouldn't come until the spring semester of my last year, which is next semester. However, one thing that they really like you to do is to work in the school throughout the program to kind of get used to it and get some experience and shadow a more experienced teacher. I am back in the classroom now. It was a long process, but I am placed with the teacher whom I am going to be spending all of the semester with and then taking over a little bit of her class in the spring to student teach. And honestly, it turned out so great. This teacher and I get along really well. I feel like we have similar ideas with like what we want to uh, emphasize in the classroom for our students and how we like to teach and kind of we're both pretty chill as far as classroom management and dealing with struggles we kind of keep our tempers. So one of my obsessions this month has been being back in the classroom. It's been really great to be in a classroom where my experience has been very positive and I'm enjoying it and I'm getting to know all the kids. So my life right now includes working four days a week part-time at the college, the university where I'm getting my degree. I am actually instructing an online course on Microsoft Excel as well as various other graduate assistant duties, so that's kind of cool. And then every other day during the school days, during the weekdays, I am going into the high school and working with a gifted and talented biology class and a 
biomedical interventions class. And then in the time in between, I am doing my graduate schoolwork, which is all online. So this update of my life has been completely coherent and not hard to follow at all. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I've had a couple people ask me questions recently about what's going on in my life, and I've realized I haven't been super great at explaining that, so hopefully that gives you a little more insight. There's one final thing that I want to talk about in this video, and that is looking ahead to the next month. One thing that I did several months back was I challenged myself to do a different thing every month. I went vegetarian, I did Vita, I tried to work on a big project, uh, yeah, various things, tried to learn another language. Some of them were successful, some of them were not. Suspicious Obviously, the coffee update part has not been in this video, and here's what I'm gonna say. I think I'm gonna try to go back off of coffee. I'm going to try in October to not drink coffee. I'm saying it, so this is a thing that's a thing. Oh god, do I want to do this? Yeah, so basically coffee is where I've been getting a lot of chocolate and a lot of sugar because I like to drink mocha and mocha frappuccino and it's expensive and it's not healthy. I just think it would be better in my life if I didn't drink it and at the same time I'm going to also try to limit uh, my refined sugar intake. So I've been seeing a lot. Michael Aranda's doing it, uh, Wheezy Waiter is doing it, various other people. So that's something I've been thinking a lot about and I'd like to try it. We will see how that goes. Okay, I've wasted enough of your time just talking about myself and I have homework to do. Since this was ultimately an obsessions video, let me know down in the comments what you were obsessed with during the month of September. Let me know if there's something that I should get obsessed with in the month of October. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Guys, I did a thing where I tried to do makeup well, and um, I don't know if I did. These eyebrows are quite bold. Bold. <laughs> Who am I? Someone teach me how to do my makeup.